I'm Sean Jansen. I'm joined by Sean Lynch, and we're still talking football here. We got four teams left. Two of our central section teams are in the semifinals on Friday night, and two of our teams are playing for section titles on Saturday. So it should be a fun week right after Thanksgiving. We get back into football. Uh, let's start with the central section. Uh, Chowchilla got a home game, kind of a surprise. Kerman goes on the road and upsets the top seed, Central Valley Christian. So Chowchilla has the four seed gets to host a semifinal against Kerman. This is a rematch of the Tom Hanks game uh, earlier this season. Yeah, we've been talking about it being a rematch all week. It's yeah. just not the one we expected. Uh, you know, big thing for Chowchilla last week was they got Alex Gutierrez back in the lineup. He'd been out with a broken arm for about a month, kind of beginning of October. That makes that offense that much more potent. Uh, they, they got off to a big lead. They, they kind of done that the, the last two weeks. <laughs> They're getting off to big leads and then kind of holding on defensively the rest of the way. But I think they're going to have a, a lot more offensive punch this time. He went for 64 yards and a touchdown in his first game back. He's shaking off a little bit, bit of the rust, and now he can complement what they already have with Anthony Stewart and Danny Chavez. Yeah, Anthony Stewart with 133 yards and two touchdowns last week against Madera South. Uh, Chachilla wins that game 27-20, much closer than the first matchup, and that's what we kind of seen with some of these rematches mm -hmm. the second time through. Um, I expect this to be a physical game, but I like Chowchilla in this one by a touchdown here. I agree. I think it'll – I actually – I'll go two scores. I, two I think scores. I think get two scores. All right. Uh, the next matchup, Das Palace at 7-4 and four is going to host Mendota. Mendota beat the number two seed Fowler last week, so that's why Das Palace is home this week as a number three seed. Again, the same thing with Chowchilla. Their rematch last week against Fireball, uh, Das Palace had to come back from behind in the second half. Uh, with a couple nice touchdowns late, um, and then held Fireball uh, scoreless in the fourth quarter. So, Das Palace has really caught fire after starting one and four. They've won six in a row, and a lot of these games have been tight nail biters. Yeah, I mean, you got to like that in the playoffs. A team that knows how to pull out those games in the fourth quarter. Um, first time around, this game was decided by a miss extra point in the third quarter. <laughs> Nobody yeah. scored in the fourth, so. Uh, I like Das Palace here. I like the fact that they're at home. Uh, yes, it, it's been proven that it's tougher to beat teams the second time around, but I like what they're doing. And uh, the uh, the Mendota quarterback, he, he's given up 13 interceptions in 11 games. So I like their chances of creating some turnovers and getting some short fields here. Yeah, I like the Broncos in this one. Just I, I really like the way they're playing right now, and they're playing playoff-type football. This is how you win in the playoffs, playing these grinded out uh, type of games. Okay, let's move to the South Joaquin section and the D Division Seven Championship. Stone Ridge Christian at ten and one. Uh, they're facing Big Valley, a team that they beat thirty-seven nothing earlier this year. And uh, you wrote a story about the streak this week. Uh, Stone Ridge Christian nine consecutive shutouts coming into this game. Yeah, uh, I contacted Mark Tennis at Cal High Sports uh, over the weekend, and he got back to me today, and we we found out that they they've already tied a state record with nine con consecutive Easy for uh, you to say. shutout victories. Uh, if they if they get the tenth, they'll set all kinds of other records because uh, ten shutouts is the most I believe in a single season, uh, much less ten consecutive ones. So they they got something real to shoot for here. In addition to the fact that they're they're going for their second straight section title game uh, victory and possible NorCal uh, regional game. Yeah, I mean I just. You gotta like the combination. Stone Ridge is putting up a lot of points and not giving up any points. Nobody's been able to stop that trio uh, running back with a double wing with Shane Casillas, Jonathan Colazzo, and Austin Reese. And you gotta like their chances here. Yeah, and I mean the on the flip side of the bracket, it was a fourteen six game in the other semifinal. Mm -hmm. This is not a big offensive juggernaut that they're going up against. So it's hard to believe anybody's going to be able to score with Stone Ridge Christian, much less be able to score on Stone Ridge Christian. <laughs> so uh, you got to like it going both ways. I see this one being a route, and, and I uh, you know, I think the biggest question is, will they get that 10th straight shutout? Okay. Well, Stone Ridge is going to play at uh, 1 o'clock at Lincoln High on Saturday. At 6 o'clock at Lincoln, we have the Division Six Championship, Hillmar against Bradshaw Christian. Hillmar kind of had to eke out a win against Ripon Christian last week. They weren't sharp, but were able to pull it out. I mean, it kind of goes back to what we were saying with Das Palace. Hillmar is not a team that's afraid to win a game in the fourth quarter. They've had to do this a few times. 
they've had to have it come down to the very last play, the very last drive. Uh, this one, you know, w- was late in the fourth quarter when they, they came from behind. Um, they're finding a way to win, and teams that do that, they, they get a great deal of confidence when they're put in those situations. Uh, Bradshaw apparently runs the Cox box. We, we don't know much about them beyond that. They got a couple thousand yard backs, but it's still hard. Uh, it was impressive what they did against Gustine last week. Yeah, I mean, they just blew out Gustine for the second straight year. They've kind of had the Redskins number. Uh, Bradshaw Christian's averaging about 362 yards rushing per game, so Hillmar's really going to have to stack the box and kind of hold them down on first and try and get them into third and long and get them out of their comfort zone there. Yeah, I, I think this one's going to be an offensive shootout, uh, but i got Hillmar coming out on top. I, I think it could be a fun one. Yeah, I like the yellow jackets here. I'm thinking 35, 28, something around that. And all Alex Chavez does is catch touchdowns. Him and Chris Carter has got a TD catch in every single game this season, bringing his total to uh, 16 on the year. Yeah, he's had a, he's had a great year. Uh, well, we still could have some more football next week if we got teams. We'll have possibly Central Section Championship games or possibly a play-in bowl game. It could even be Stone Ridge against Hillmar. It could be... Uh, interesting all merced county affair yeah so we're looking forward to it and uh let's keep the good times rolling